At long last, Lily had reached her destination. She had faced a thousand dangers, and finally, she now stood in Edna's hiding place. There was just one catch. Edna was gone. Edna had left a message. Hopefully, she was all right. Lily, help! I'm being devoured alive by a giant tentacled creature. Ah! Whoa! Dun 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 dun! <laughs> just kidding. I'm fine. I was just watching the bridge down by the river through my telescope. Dr. Marcel's minions seem to be planning something. I'll check it out up close. If I don't return, you have to get help. But don't worry. I'll be careful. Where am I kettle drum and my strobe flashlight? Dang. Well, see you soon. Toodle Lily was relieved by the letter. But what if Dr. Marcel's men had caught her friend? Lily had to get to the bridge and look for Edna. She would find Garrett there too. This damn piece of junk. Can you believe it? We finally found the girl, and now the car won't start. Should I perhaps push? This car should have been inspected months ago. But ever since the accident, the doctor has let everything go down here. It was hopeless. Lily would never catch Garrett's attention while the owl kept interfering. Lily was able to finally give Garrett the signal without being interrupted. Lily was able to finally give Garrett the signal without being interrupted. Garrett didn't seem to hear Lily's owl call at all. She tried once more, this time a little louder. Did you hear that too? Someone's out there. Just wait. We'll take care of it. Well, who do we have here? But that's... Uh-oh. Lily thoughtfully watched the fleeing attendants for a long while. She was used to having bizarre phantoms appear behind her without warning. But the way Dr. Marcel's minions had reacted surprised her. Usually, adults just ignore these creatures. Lily! Oh, thank goodness! I thought they caught you! Unfortunately, 
Edna wasn't as lucky. I saw how she was snatched and taken back to the institution. This gives us all the evidence we need. I will contact the task force leaders right away. It's best if you stay put until I come back with reinforcements. However, it could take some time. And I can't guarantee that Edna will still be alive when we finally get the green light. If we're lucky, Dr. Marcel will torture her for a while before finally dissecting her or whatever else it is he intends to do with her. That would give us some time. She'll probably have to part with a few toes or fingers. Oh well, that's the way it goes. In any case, you wait here. I'll come and pick you up from exactly this spot tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, at the latest. Although the day after tomorrow is a holiday, but oh well, you'll see. Just wait here. Lily would have really liked to follow Garrett's instructions, but, well, there were excellent reasons for doing what she did instead. The institution's post-Victorian masonry work had a friendly air about it. It was almost as if the architect had tried to spell out, Welcome, with bricks and barbed wire. This unspoken invitation found its culmination in a nearly overgrown back door, and Lily intended to graciously accept it. The door was firmly locked. Exhausting the limits of her powers of deduction, Lily tried opening the back door with the key. But just as she approached the obstacle, she heard a familiar cackling. What a little scoundrel! The sneaky hamster had once again crossed Lily's plans. But despite this, Lily had no intentions of exacting a bloody revenge. <laughs> Lily was glad. It was so rare that her friends got along so well with each other. Of course, this was also because she hardly had any friends. Much more important, however, was that the asylum key was no longer out of reach. It had fallen into one of the dark bushes. The key had fallen into the bush. It was very dark in there, but Lily wasn't afraid. Um. After all, it was just a bush. Yeah. Why did the child have to be so careless all the time? The door was firmly locked. 